It is the grand opening of just a small clinic in a small beach town of Vietnam, but a grand achievement in terms of what's been done. I hope that in the future that this project will lead to greater understanding <coughs> and a healing of the wounds between our nations. They are a team of American and Vietnamese men and women building, now celebrating a milestone in Vietnam-U.S. relations. Up front, having done the construction, were former GIs, former Viet Cong, and former North and South Vietnamese soldiers. Behind the lines were fundraisers from several groups, including one represented by Lee Hayslip of Escondido, the leader of the East Meets West Foundation in San Diego County, a group that has already secured land for the next clinic that will go up. That one will be built at the famous China Beach near Da Nang. Yet for Lee, the Vietnam vets, and the others here, this first clinic will always be the special one, the project that helped reopen the road between Vietnam and America. Another reason these veterans are returning to Vietnam is to participate in a research program on PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a syndrome that affects over a half million Vietnam veterans. One of my main observations is I think that uh, the vets, when they've come here, uh, if we dehumanize the Vietnamese when we are fighting them, I think they've rehumanized them and uh, uh, they're no longer a monster or something that we should be afraid of. He is part of a team studying the Vietnam veterans who have come back for this eight-week construction project, watching and talking and questioning, trying to discover if coming full circle can help Vietnam veterans suffering PTSD. It is a real but shadowy disorder with ingredients of nightmares, flashbacks, drug abuse, even suicide. The experts would like to help. The vets here think they have their own solution. And we feel like the answer to heal these kinds of people is to bring them over here and let them do constructive work. Essentially, uh, in the simplest words I can say it is, we're replacing the bad memories of Vietnam with good memories of Vietnam. And that's what most of the vets say the return to Vietnam has done for them, given them good memories though none of them believe the return trip would be good for everyone. Uh, it's kind of walking a tightrope because we can't, couldn't bring somebody who uh, might flip out, you know, or so bad that, uh, you know, that we couldn't um, be assured that, uh, you know, they just wouldn't go bananas over something, you know. But I'm sure there's a whole block of veterans that this is perfect therapy for. And that's mostly how the vets feel. For the psychologist, they won't have the results of their study for a while, unable to offer conclusions at the moment only a candid assessment about PTSD in general. We cannot cure it, but we can make it better. And I think maybe by coming here, these guys have made their stress better. But I don't think we've cured it. But the building of the new clinic has helped. This guy was from Hanoi. It's helped the Vietnamese of Vong Tau and possibly more than just the 17 American vets who've come back. Certainly for some, the healing process has begun. For many, the healing process begins by returning to places like this and rebuilding, rebuilding clinics or schools like this one, which was heavily damaged by artillery fire, a school which, by the way, is still being used just as it is. For others, the healing process begins by returning to old battlegrounds. For Luis Lopez, the wait is over. First, he helped build the clinic in Vong Tau. Now he's come full circle to the place where he lost his friends in Vietnam, where three bullet wounds almost cost him his life. Tomorrow night, we'll return with Luis to the tunnels of Coochie, where for the second time, he meets the enemy. <laughs>